I mean, just the fact that he beat Manny Pacquiao doesn't mean that he's gonna he's gonna go in there and beat up on a young, strong, uh, physically strong Earl Spence. Given what you saw from Ugas in that Pacquiao fight, and like Ugas is very skilled, right? Fundamentally, like you don't think he'll, he'll like really give Errol a run for his money? Oh, he will. He will give he'll give Errol a run for his money in the early rounds. In the early rounds. I think the most Ugas will give Earl Spence is maybe four or five rounds. You know, he'll give him trouble. But once Earl Spence starts figuring him out, it'll be a totally different fight. There'll be a big change in the fight. I mean, I can tell you this. Uh, Manny Pacquiao was training for for who, who was he supposed to fight? Uh, for Earl Spence. Yeah. He was supposed to fight Earl, right? And uh, I think it was a week or two weeks before that, you know, he gets hurt. I think he had an eye injury, yeah. and right away they switched to Ugas. You know, it's basically your, I think Ugas is a right-hander. No, he's southpaw. Southpaw? Yeah. And Earl's a softball. Yeah. So the thing is, there's there's changes in there. You're, you're training for one style and switching it to another style, it's completely different. I just think that at the same time, Manny Pacquiao, it was just a matter of time. Age was going to kick in. You know, Manny Pacquiao's footwork was not there. I saw Manny Pacquiao's uh, agility and, and footwork was not there that night. Obviously, Ugas is, 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 he knows how to use his reach. He's very consistent with the jab and frustrated Manny. But... You know, against an Earl Spence, against an Earl Spence in his prime is gonna be a different ball game. I, you know, this this fight plays out to be for Earl, in my in my opinion. You know, uh, Jordan Ugas, he's an older fighter. He's already, you know, he's a veteran in the sport. Uh, he's had a lot of wars already. I mean, just the fact that he beat Manny Pacquiao doesn't mean that he's gonna he's gonna go in there and beat up on a young, strong, uh, physically strong Earl Spence. Uh, it's going to play out really good uh, stylistically, but I just think that at the end, Earl Spence's uh, youth and, and strength will take will, will take the fight. You think based on what you saw from the Danny Garcia fight and, and coming into this fight that Errol is 100%, like he's the same Errol that he was before the accident? Well, he's not going to be 100% the same, but, you know, he's working on it. You know, obviously, that's, that's, a, that's it's a scar that you will never, that it will never heal forever mentally. Physically, it will, but mentally, he's always there. But he's getting better, you know, as time as time goes. Every fight, you know, as long as he stays active, eventually he's going to fade away. But he is getting better. Um, I was, after the accident, I was expecting to see a different, a different Earl Spence. But we really didn't see, you know, much difference. You know, he's coming back. He's strong. He knows, you know, he wasn't really affected physically. Mentally, if he was a little bit, you know, little by little as, as as it goes, you know, it starts fading away and he'll be back on track. You would think coming into this fight, though, that Ugas would go ahead and, and target the eye that uh, was injured and where Arrow had the, the surgery, you would think, right? Yeah, but, I mean, you can target the eye. You can target the eye as much as you want, but I just I just feel that if he's if he's allowed to fight, he's, he's, he's 100% ready because I don't think a doctor, nowadays, for boxing, believe me, physicals are very strict. I don't think he will step in the ring with uh, with an eye at 50% or at 60%. He has to be 100%. Even though uh, Ugas decides to target that eye, it's still, you know, there's he's fighting for a reason, which means that he's 100% and shouldn't be a problem. Unless uh, you're Michael Bisbing. Did you hear that story, Michael Bisbing? He, he tricked all the doctors? Yeah, like I, he... I heard the story. He has a, a, a patesis. Yeah, he's yeah he tricked everybody. <laughs> Even me, because I was always around him, too, you know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But no, I I don't think Derek would uh, no. allow him to go no. into the fight. Not a hundred percent. It has to be a hundred percent in order for him to step in the ring. Thurman told me that we're going to see the fight really play out in the middle rounds. That, that's where he thinks yeah, like that's, that's we're going to see that's, one or the other take yeah. over. That's where I think everything's gonna everything's gonna start opening up. Like I said, I'm I'm thinking four or five rounds. That's where that's where Ugas is going to be giving Earl Spence the trouble between the between the first and the fifth round. It's going to be a back to back fight. And after that, I think, uh, you know, based on the youth and strength, uh, I think Earl's going to start taking over after the fifth. And we hope after that we see him finally go up against uh, Terrence Crawford. But uh, I'm seeing that maybe Terrence is going to move up to 154. I, he was going back and forth with Charlo. Well, yeah, because 
I mean, he's been, he was at 140 for a while, but he's a big boy. You know, uh, Terrence Crawford is, is a big boy for, he was a big boy for 140. Now that he's established at 47, you know, he's been there for a while. And, uh, you know, it, it, at this point, if he decides to move to 50, uh, 54, I don't blame him. He's, you know, he's already set his mark in two divisions. And um, if he goes to 54, I mean, that's, that's up to him. That's, he's, that he's making the right decision. If he feels comfortable, great. But at 47, obviously that's a fight everybody wants to see. We all want to see Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence, you know. How does he do at 54 with uh, like a Charlo, a Castaño, uh, in your opinion, Terrence? He would do good yeah. because he's very technical. He's very smart. You know, he switches stands and he's very technical. Maybe his power is not going to be there huh, you know, to, to get the respect from a 154-pounder, but technically he's good. He's smart. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.